bro i honestly thought they were gonna have a japanese release before this and then when they announced this i was like oh shit i'm super super excited i will be reacting to the mv and i'll also be doing an album first listen part one of the album first listen so the first two b-sides which are called rainbow halo and beg for me are going to be in this video and then part two of the album first listen will be in a separate video after this and Super, super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, it's here, the MV is here. I feel a little bit sick. Do you guys mind if I vomit? Like, do you mind? I'm so, like, I might, I might have to vomit. Bro, red velvet are here. Red velvet! Red velvet! Let's go, feel my rhythm, MV. Let's go, let's go. Fuck it, fuck. Oh no, it's vibes already. Oh no. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
to say, bro. I have so much to say. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, you cannot mess with SM Entertainment. Okay, like you just you, you can't like you can't you can't mess with SM Entertainment. They're gonna do what they do. They're gonna do what they've always done, and they're always gonna do it the best. Okay, they're, they're, just just remember that. That's that's just that's just my opinion. Okay, like no one's ever gonna do it like SM or SM groups at this point at this stage. Because did you just witness that? Like, did you just see what happened there? It's been a long time. I feel like in K-pop, people are definitely trying to push the boundaries with this sort of what the fuckness, okay? SM have always been doing it, but I feel like it's definitely, it's definitely that, that agenda is definitely being pushed on a lot of groups, that sort of what the fuck is going on. Only SM would take it to another level <laughs> where it would have even me in the chorus being like, what the fuck is going on? I need to listen to that chorus about 50 times to process every single thing that was going on. I felt like there was two different beats, two different sounds, two different men. I couldn't quite, but you guys know I love to like pick apart the instrumental and sort of analyze and pick out sounds. I couldn't, I couldn't. And on that fact alone, I fucking love it. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. What else right now sounds like that song? Nothing in my opinion. Straight away, I, like when those strings came in, I straight away I was like, okay, this is Psycho Part 2. And it was Psycho Part 2. Psycho, but like Psycho on Psychedelic Psycho. Okay, this was Nutty Psycho, like Psycho Nutty, Asylum, Asylum tied up in a straight jacket, fucking Psycho. Bro, there was this really low synth that I think sort of comes in maybe in the pre-chorus and then continues on into the chorus. I can't remember, or is it in, just in the chorus? I don't know, but that combination of that really low synth with like that, the strings, like that sound was just absolutely impeccable. And then when Yeti comes in with her fucking burst, that was bonkers. That bridge, what was all those fucking little electronic -y, synth -y little breakdown moments, like the those moments? Oh my God. Oh my God, that was bonkers. That was literally bonkers. Like, RIP everyone. That was literally bonkers. What do you want me to tell you? The melodies, like the vocals as well. The visuals, did you see that? The creativity, the art, those things. What were those things? Those visuals were insane. The effects as well, like the visual effects. What a concept, bro, red velvet, bro, red velvet, bro, SM, bro. That was bonkers. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. I didn't really see any of like the choreo, I'm afraid. Like I wasn't concentrating on the choreo. Oh my God. Oh my God, like I'm gonna faint. Let's just, let's listen to the first two B-sides. Jesus, Lord have mercy, bro. My head's about to pop. I can't take this. Because I know this is the fact that you know like every B-side's gonna be 10 out of 10. Like how do you even put like, okay, let's go. Rainbow Halo. <sighs> Oh, 
talking about red velvet okay how can they just deliver it so right every single time did you hear them on that no because did you hear them first of all did you hear the production the production on that was bonkers again very interesting use of instrumentation just like the title track i feel i'm i'm curious to know now if the whole album is going to be like this i feel like they're definitely it's strange to say this because SM are just always experimenting, but I feel like this time they really are experimenting with like different uses of sounds, like instruments. And it's a very distinct, it's like you can hear like live instruments. They really are like experimenting with combining the live instruments and electronic instruments. And there's just something about these two sounds meshed together that sounds so good, e.g. that saxophone was in the chorus. At first I was like, please, like it needs to be more prominent, like I need to hear that saxophone more. And then I was thinking to myself, we need to have just a moment where it's sort of instrumental, where we can hear that saxophone clearly, like we need to hear it clearly. I was thinking that, I was even going to say it, and then we got to the end and they did it. Do you know what I mean? This is why I'm saying, how can they get it so right every single time you'll be thinking something, like I wish it, this happened, and then it happens. Also, their flow in that, like the delivery, the way they were delivering their verses was just... <coughs> I just let's just go on to the next one. <sighs> I feel like I need a cigarette break. We're not going to do that. Let's go. Red Velvet, beg for me. Dance for me, work for me, beg for me. Dance for me, work for me, beg for me. So you know, so corner. The shot, I'm the hunter. Tagajo nan, wanna be on nan, wanna be on. Tip it in, Mr. Ten, tip it in, Mr. Ten. Cooey's a good mode of magic, cool to
This part is so red velvet sounding. And then the chorus. I'm not gonna make it here. For me! No matter what sound they put out, like they're always gonna R and B it. Like there's always gonna be like an R and B something, whether it's a little synth in the back, a little bit of Fender Rhodes, whatever it is. The melodies are always gonna R and B it a little bit. That's just a perfect example. That was I can't even talk. That was a perfect example. Also, I felt like that pre-chorus and that chorus was such go away cat was such a sort of red velvet sound. Like it's such a staple sort of red velvet sound. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of like quite playful, but also like I just said, very R and B. Um, I love that. I love that. Doom, do 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 do. Boom, do 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 do. I love that. That bridge, bro. Again, the way they were delivering that part, bro. No joy. Joy, Joy, listen, we all know Joy is my bias, okay? Joy is my bias, she's one of my favourite vocalists in the whole of K-pop, probably my favourite female vocalist in the whole of K-pop. There's just something about her tone and just the way she delivers her parts, like every single word, every single breath that comes out, it's just like, I can't explain it. It's just so delicious, she sounds so good. And that verse was just, oh my goodness gracious me, that whole thing was fantastic, bro. The whole thing is, but let's just end part one here. Like, I need to go, I need to do part two right now, bro. I can't take this, bro. I love Red Velvet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Go to follow me on Instagram, guys. Go to follow me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye. I'll see you in part two in a minute. Bye. Oh!